back with this again. <clears throat> hey, 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 dude. I just started. Do you? Okay, I'll get out of your hair, man. Jeez, just started and people are already trying to shoot me. It's been a while. Uh, ugh, gotta get out of this place. Find somewhere quiet. This looks good enough. So, specifically with YouTube, if you're uh, noticing the change in locale from the previous stream at uh, Braithwaite Manor, well, about to go to Braithwaite Manor, I actually did do that stream about two weeks ago, but, uh, oh, what's up with my horse? It's like super upset or sad or something or hungry. Irregardless. Uh, I did uh, that stream for about an hour, and I did the most novice dumb thing, and I didn't check to see if my mic was on. <laughs> so I did a stream with uh, no mic, even though the whole time behind the, behind the uh, mic I was given exposition and uh, dialogue. So that actually kind of made me upset, because I had some good stories in that. Which, uh, I'll just say in this one, I guess. And I'm not gonna go back and redo Braithwaite or anything. I basic I'll just basically summarize what happened. Because not a whole lot even actually happened. Uh, checked out the manor, nothing was there. Got, like, some jewels off the Braith Mrs. Braithwaite's body. Uh, checked out... Well, I forget what the other manor was and they tried to kill me. Yeah, I checked out Caliga Hall, they tried to kill me. Uh, went back to Shady Bell. There's a massive army of, uh, Lemoyne Raiders there, which I took out, and that was about it. And then, oddly enough, like, around here, right in front of Shady Bell, there was, like, a KKK group? And I threw, uh, dynamite at them, and they all blew up, and that was fun. But, uh, aside from that, nothing else really happened. So that, uh... That stream shall be lost to the annals of history. Aside from that, I haven't streamed in two weeks, which won't be noticeable on YouTube as well, since I'm uploading all this more or less at the same time. I think I'll do it in uh, one-day intervals, because there will be like 11 or 12 of these going up consecutively. Uh, aside from that, I've been gone for two weeks because I've been very sick, which has not been fun. Uh, started with a some sort of neck infection, which, to my knowledge, for, for me personally, hearing my voice, uh, it sounds a bit deeper now for some reason, but I don't know, maybe I'm just a bit more calm and composed after dealing with all that. So yeah, uh, about one week of why I was gone was about a neck infection, which was not fun. And immediately after that, uh, I just uh, went through some sort of, uh, what technically would I call it? I don't know, some type of reaction to a medicine they gave me and it kind of screwed me up for another few days. So I've been trying to take it easy. <laughs> I actually haven't played, I played a bit of, I played a, about five, seven hours of Mario Maker at this point, but uh, I haven't touched this since that one stream where nothing happened. And I did intend to leave it, that's the thing, I didn't find out the mic was off until after the stream was over and I reviewed the footage. <laughs> so uh, I kind of prepped it for Sandini next, but kind of just coasting along the railroad here. So yeah, I'm going to explore Sandini this time, I guess. I'm also considering, because I want to diversify a bit more, I think I'm going to start doing some YouTube-only videos that are just normal games, not just the VR stuff, which I haven't even put up yet uh, at this point. But I think I want to do, like, 
more long-term stuff, long-term format stuff on the YouTube page. Whereas with uh, Twitch, I think I'd prefer to do more one-offs and uh, kind of chill things like this, where it's just me kind of exploring the games. Just kind of having some fun with it. What the hell are you doing? I don't know, man. What are you doing? Alms for the blind. Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare for a blind man? Blind test. Please, there's someone here. Alms for the blind. And he's legit. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Let's go, girl. Yeah, I, I'm double checking right now to see if my mic is on. I'm like, no, not again. <laughs> uh, I forgot I killed an alligator out there as well. So I have a, but lucky enough, I have a perfect alligator skin, which uh, made me happy. So I got to sell that at some point. There's your visual proof that all that stuff happened. And Sandini is so detailed compared to everything else in this game. And what I mean by that is just the infrastructure. It is very alien compared to the others. The wilderness. Good old civilization. Kind of makes me want to play Bioshock now. Bioshock Infinite. Now, is there any points of interest in the city that look good? Uh, is there a store nearby I could sell this pelt to? There's a fence. Trapper. I'll go to the trapper. Hello, sir. What are you doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Dude. Jesus. What the hell? I'm not sure how many more of these red dead things I'll do. They're very they're very enjoyable. But I'm starting to hit up against that limit of new places to go. There's still the far west. Oh, it's over there. But aside from that, I mean, there's up north of here and not a whole else left. There's around Strawberry, I guess. So this is good for maybe like another four streams or so, I guess. Where's a trapper? I'm missing a few frames here. In game, not. Uh... Oh, there he is. I was wondering. Oh, what do you have for me? All right, let's have a look. Three bucks for the alligator. <laughs> Head to this saloon. There's something up here. Get my stuff in case there's an event of some sort. Hey, 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 give me that. Set on in.
Wait, what was that? Why'd my horse fall over? Where are you going? What are you doing? Get back here. Dude! Get back here! What are you doing? Have you gone mad? Hey, mutton chops. Yes, you want some food or something? Is there any actual, like, posts I can tie this guy down to? You just stay here. Stay out of trouble. Give me my guns back! No, not dynamite. I used that last time. I don't need it now. Now stay! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Better be good. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Me, personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I... I pose, I show off, I complain. How uh, very French. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. <laughs> Asshole? Mm. That too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you got some self-knowledge. Where were you on your, uh... Journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You're a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but mm. do you paint? Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You, uh, miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. <laughs> mm. Guess so. Mm. You know, uh... John. Charles. You know, John, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Okay, this guy's a Trust bit of an oddball. I tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What's this? Uh, it's just a little doodle. <laughs> huh? You know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. That's real kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. John will fap to that later, I bet. This guy. Oh, he was, uh, interesting. Any other oddballs? There's a photo studio. Eh, John could use a trim, honestly. Go to the barber. Starting to think there's not a whole lot of fun to have in the city. Like if I start a ruck, why am I gun? Fine, I don't need guns to go in here. Like if I start a ruckus or if anything weird happens, the cops are gonna be on me, and that's not gonna be fun. I won't. I won't have any problems paying off the bounty, of course, but it's just gonna be annoying. Hair's fine. Get a beard trim. 
suits you. You got this, girl. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything really interesting over here in Sandinia at the moment. It seems pretty basic. Uh, is there anything north? I didn't really go that much in the bayou last time when I played. I went a little bit towards, like, Pleasance, and I went to this, and that was about it. Let's head to Le Gras. See if they have anything interesting going on. And maybe get into... Okay, horse is stuck. There we go. Maybe see if there's anything funner up north. Get out of this wild civilization. This is man's world. It ain't the same world as what I belong to. This is more like it, where anything can happen. I thought I saw a plume of smoke over here. There's a gator. What's up with this house? pretty normal actually oh, maybe something will happen on the way to Le Gras. out of anywhere in the game the bayou freaks me out the most just because a lot of weird stuff happens and it doesn't have any concurrent uh, Explanation, it just kind of happens. Well, what was that? I saw on the mini map a weird question mark. What is this? What's this then? Still a ways off. Oh, I think it's for a legendary animal. Not interested. No, not no. interested to spend a half hour looking for this thing. Yeah, legendary bull gator. Yeah, nah. Yeah, not sure which way looks more inviting. A very strange bridge or going further into the bayou. 
I actually kind of see want to see which okay that leads out of this place so I'll continue through here This is why I don't like the bayou. It is super creepy. pigs out here. There's a house up here, though. Oh, I think this is for, uh, yeah, this is What's-Her-Face's old house from the, uh, legendary gunslinger quests. I'm trying to just take a look at the horizon, see if there's anything weird. I think there's somebody on a horse way over there. someone on a horse over there. There's somebody camping over here. Or something. Yeah, it's a dude on a horse. What's going on over here? I don't remember putting the welcome sign up, so get lost. Go on and get lost. Okay, okay. Ain't you serious? I thought it was a free country, was all. You better leave, or I'll move you myself. Right in the face. Doesn't seem like he had a horse, though. <clears throat> I could actually sleep here for the night. Come on, let me look at the box. Let me look at the box. Thank you. That's some bread. What is that noise? And hopefully no night folk wake me up in the night and kill me. Nah, looks good. Nice. Looks like I'm far away enough, uh, far enough away. Seriously, what is that annoying noise? Sounds like mice. Or rats. Oh, it's the friggin' pigs. So, one of the things I talked about last time was how, uh, I remembered... Huh? There's a lot of weird noises and I don't like it. Just makes me like, what? What's going on? Uh, I remember last time that uh, from work, 
I went back and looked at my Twitter and I remembered uh, that there is this guy that like I work in like selling games and electronics and all that kind of stuff but I remember this guy coming in about mid-January and there were three of them one in a gray hoodie one in a black hoodie and one in a blue hoodie and the blue and black hoodie were over by the game cases and just kind of looking at the stuff. The blue, the black hoodie and the gray hoodie appeared to be very drunk. And at one point while I'm working, I forget what I was doing at that point, maybe looking at uh, order invoices or something like that. Uh, the gray hoodie guy comes over to me and and I quote, me and my friends would like to buy a game from you, my good sir. I, I say, okay, what game are you looking at? Call of Duty 4 for Xbox. Okay. I had, I had, I, I, I'm, at this point I can easily tell that they're drunk. I'm not going to put up with any other bullcrap. Uh, the blue hoodie dude seemed very normal, so I think he was kind of, the, the, he was probably their driver, their dude who was the one who was not drinking for them. Uh, I head over to the game cases, and the gray hoodie dude's behind me, and I walk up to them, black hoodie points at the one he wants. Uh, I open the game case, uh, put my hand on the copy. Black hoodie next to me looks behind him and immediately says, to Grey Hoodie, who I, I I know is behind me. Dude, you piss your pants? I, I'm still holding the game in the case. I turn halfway around me, and I see him standing behind me about a foot away with his sweatpants pissed on on the front, holding it out like an American flag, like he's presenting it. He has basketball shorts on underneath. But, uh, yeah, he, he took off his... In, in the time from when I was at my desk to getting to the game cases, he pissed himself and took off his pants and splayed it out perfectly to display to us as a group. I don't know what this guy's problem was. He's obviously drunk as shit. It was surreal. I'm still stone-faced about this whole thing because I'm just not putting up with him. And he, meanwhile, he's going, no, no, man, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's all good, man. It's nothing. Uh, I still, I, I, I just turn back around, grab the copy, uh, start heading over to the desk to check him out. This dude looks lost. Hey, fella. Bien, bonjour, monsieur. Yeah. Heading o start heading over to the desk. And, uh, oh, what the hell? I mean, free heron, I guess. And the black hoodie dude, j just it, at that point while they're walking over, just like, dude, put the pants away. Just stop it, man. Chill out. No, no, man. I've got it. It's all good. He, he rolls up his pants his pissed on pants like a towel and puts it under his arm like it's like a sleeping bag or something. Uh, and then I, I sold him the game and I, by, by law I had to sell it to the dude who wasn't drunk because I can't sell things to dudes who don't know what they're buying because they're drunk. Uh, so the black hoodie dude, uh, sorry, the blue hoodie dude uh, uh, bought it and kind of guide, he kind of guided his friends over to the other side of the store and such, and uh, they left. It's just one of those, uh, one of those fun, weird moments in my job. It's been slowing down with weird occurrences lately. It used to be insane the past three years, but, uh, yeah. Is that banjo?
Hi there, y'all. Don't get where that blood came from. Stay away from me. Hey, screw you, lady. Okay there. I'm here to listen to this banjo. Folks around here are real nice, aren't they? You be well now. Or stop taking a crap. <clears throat> So yeah, I, I did out of no. I had I had completely forgotten that for months, and uh, then I saw my tweet about that, and I just completely remembered it. I was just like, "Oh yeah, that happened. That was bizarre." <laughs> uh. God, was there anything recent that happened that was weird? I mean, weird stuff happens on a daily basis, but it's like very, it's always very fleeting or very momentary. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> I think he just had piss water dumped on him. <laughs> I just got this shirt. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> Horse, I'm not even touching the horse right now. It just started glitching out going towards the lamppost. Get out of there. Horse, you've been acting weird the whole day. Unarmed assault, what? No, 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 no. No, no. It was not assault from me, it, my horse assaulted them. Great, now I gotta get out of this area. I think, I think somehow I ended back in San Denis. Yes, I did. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There's a copper over there. Good job, horse. You landed us in a pretty pickle. Even then, I'm just kind of running around, just kind of looking for anything that looks uh, interesting, but... Okay, it's over. Bonjour. Bonjour. Howdy. Buenos dias. All kinds of hello. This may be a bad idea, going on this thing. Well, we're back in the bayou again. Which, to me, is at least good, because then I can get out of the city. I think I'm on the other side of it, too. Is this an abandoned train station? That might be interesting to look at. Get uh, Springfield added stronger. Yeah, this place is creepy. And I don't like how I just heard glass break. There's something here. I'm not. This feels very much like a trap of some sort, anyway. Bottoms up. Anyone home? Doesn't look like it. Coming in. Okay, for a second there, I thought that was a gas canister. I was like, oh shit. If I hit that, this whole place would have went up. I think this is... uh it might be, actually. I can't tell from the design. It's too old. Doesn't look like anything's here. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Nah, 
that it'll do anything. What is that dude doing over there? That was weird. Why the heck was he over here? Oh yeah, I forgot this animation's gross. This is kind of what I was talking about for uh, the last stream that kind of failed, basically, because of circumstances. Uh, there's nothing really to do down here in the south. I went to Rhodes and... Well, actually, no, I didn't... I went to the saloon in Rhodes. I didn't actually go to Rhodes, though, like in town. Let me hit up the general store. I need to resupply bullets and such anyway. I was like, why is that dude just standing there? <laughs> Seemed a bit odd. That was one of the things I said, la talked about last time is, yeah, this, uh, I, I can feel the sticky air of this place and the red dirt. Uh, I've been to Florida enough to know how this feels and it's, uh, ugh. It's kind of how it feels right now up here since it's like, set, uh, today it's uh, just thunderstormed. It's like 95 degrees out, so it's all wet and humid out. Hot. Man and his dog. Partner? Partner? Oh, for me, one of the local things that happened, uh... The local mall actually might be uh, shutting down pretty soon, which uh, is kind of, kind of big for me in a small way, more of a memory way. That was that that mall was where everybody went uh, in the late '90s, early 2000s. But uh, the last anchor store just uh, shut down last week, so now it's literally just the building of the mall. And to my knowledge, from everybody, like the people who run the arcade there and such. Did you? Well, for the other country. Oh, okay, man. What we wanted to make, and wonder which folk minded the old goddamn business. And my property is my business. That ain't exactly the point. I mean, the point is, I want your property. Just, just a little bit. How you this do? guy, <laughs> this guy is insane. But, uh, yeah, the mall might be shutting down soon, which, uh, it's been crap for about the past 20, uh, not 20 years, I'd say 15 years since about the depression. Uh, wow, depression, recession. When uh, a lot of the stores closed down and left. So, eh, I, I had fond memories of going there. I, I remember going to KB Toys. There's a really, the bookstore that was there, it was, it was just a mom and pop one, but, uh, uh, that's where I got introduced to, like, Naruto and such uh, from, well, the manga of Naruto. I didn't realize that stuff I saw in Toonami uh, was actually originally a book or anything like that. Uh, and I actually just dropped the uh, anime and started reading the books only. 
And KB Toys I liked a lot when I was a little kid getting uh, Rescue Heroes and other kind of stuff in the early 2000s like that when I was like uh, in elementary and such. So, yeah, there's some there's some good memories there, but it'll be gone soon. Probably bulldozed and condos will probably replace it or something. Mister? Mister? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Okay. And you? Well, I got the one leg. <laughs> Been standing here since about 1870 and uh, slowly starving to death. Uh, sorry I asked. Ah. No Slowly. Hey, say you a Yankee. I'm not Dude, sure. you've been standing here for 40 well, years. I used to see with you a few years back. He was tall and a moody face. Yeah, Arthur. He died, I'm afraid. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. He... He saved my life. Is that so? <laughs> you didn't always seem the type. No. No, he didn't. Man, now that just made me sad about Arthur. Hey, dude. Hey. Quite a day, huh? Let's hope it holds. So long. Don't try to be something you're not. Out of my way. That's an about face. <laughs> John Marston? Whoa. I don't believe it. I thought you were dead. Pearson. What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here, man? <laughs> Welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> From a grubby, greasy, lowly cook to yeah. a dude who owns his own general Pearson store. Damn, Pearson. So what can I get for you today, sir? I need ammo. How the hell are you? You don't have a whole lot of ammo. <laughs> I need some more heavy duty stuff. There should be a gunsmith in town. Pretty good. Got some land in Great Plains. Trying to get a small ranch going. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I uh, wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. Feels like an eternity ago. All right, well, I, I guess, see you later. Good God, I seen everything now. There. Let's go, girl. Yeah, there's a gunsmith. Actually, he's right here. Hey there, come take a look. Wait a minute. I think I remember something weird. Huh? No matter me. Yeah, I'm not sure. If, I don't actually remember if I did that quest or not, but this guy's like hiding a guy down here. I'm dressed up like a weird little kid and it's friggin' creepy and wrong. I think I did do it with Arthur. Can I not buy something? Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's just see what's available in here. Yeah, this guy's weird. I remember that. There we go, Express. Right? I, I just did, dude. Howdy, partner. Newspaper. You okay, girl? Newspaper. Nah. Oh, and a, a few, uh, I think one or two streams ago, I talked about how I should rewatch the Hobbit movies. I actually am doing that right now. I haven't uh, finished it, but I've seen uh, Unexpected Journey and Desolation of Smog extended. I haven't watched them in a few years, and I just kind of got the uh, 
feeling to rewatch them. I still need to rewatch. I've never seen Battle of Five Armies extended. I've owned it since it came out, but I never bothered to watch it. Then again, I own a lot of movies that I've never bothered to watch, like Deadpool and such. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me go out actually over here. This is where one of the like group bases or whatever were, I think. I don't know what I just ran over, but whatever. God, where was it? No, it was over here. But yeah, I'm, I'm rewatching them. And I have to say, honestly, the Hobbit movies aren't as bad as uh, everyone seems to make them out to be. Yeah, they're not great in comparison to Lord of the Rings, but uh, they're enjoyably, they're, du they're dumb and enjoyable. I really don't dislike watching them. What's going on here? Oh, shit. Let me get my guns. It's having a bad consistency of not letting me just have them. I see you there. Turn on your heels, son. Slugs and dynamite. You stick around much longer, you're gonna be buried. Have fun with that, boys. Oh. That's all of them. So yeah, uh, Martin Freeman is a fantastic lead character for Bilbo. In all honesty, I actually prefer him over Elijah Wood as uh, Frodo as a main character. He's he's fantastic, no doubt about that, and one of the most iconic ones, well, iconic people as a lead character to me in my interests. But, I don't know, Martin Freeman sells Bilbo as a really, really believable character. What happened to this guy? He's all the way down here. And the other dwarves are uh, enjoyable cast members. Thorin is still an, um, an annoying ass. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I might have disliked in the movies. I, I will say, funny enough, the CG kind of holds up still. Uh, as annoying as it is to most people and how that's like the biggest complaint, I still think uh, Azog the Defiler looks fine. And that's... Get, at this point, getting pretty close to 10... Oh, the movies are almost 10 years old. Holy shit. That that annoys me. But uh, the CG is almost 10 years old at this point. It still holds up pretty well. Radagast is fantastic. Ian McKellen as Gandalf is impeccably amazing. I will say, watch it, because I never, I watched about half of Desolation of Smog extended, and then I just kind of stopped. I think I fell asleep at one point years ago. Uh, I will say, I didn't realize uh, Thorin's father was in the movies at all. He wasn't in the theatrical release. And watching this, when Gandalf goes to, uh, I think it's Dol Guldur, uh, when he goes to Dol Guldur, he finds him in this entire sequence that's cut from the movie in the theatrical. And I found that amazing because there were scenes that were used in the theatrical version where they just completely edited him out of those scenes. That to me was impressive on a technical scale, how they could rework the movie without him in it. 
in those scenes. And watching that, yes, there. in all honesty, I could see why they cut him, because his bit is more of a cameo than anything related to a real plot point, because literally he, sh he attacks Gandalf, he's all, like, wild and stuff and insane. And then they get found out by Azog and uh, Bolg. No, uh, Bolg is after uh, the troop. Uh, but they get found out. They come up against Sauron, and he literally is just like, T "You will tell my boy I love him, right?" And he said, he says it like another time, "You will tell my boy I love him." Instantly, Wilhelm screams and gets sucked into Sauron, or whatever energy Sauron is showing himself as. And that's it. That's everything involving him. It's completely pointless. It's funny. It, it, it was... I had mixed feelings when that happened, because it's like, oh shit. It's Thorin's dad. I forget his name, but it's Thorin's dad. And it, and it builds up, and it's like, oh man, they're, they're going up against Sauron. Nope, just whoosh, gets yeeted into Sauron, and that's it. I, n he's gone. There's nothing else. Game over. I haven't seen the last one extended to see if maybe he tells Thorin about his dad or anything, and I don't remember if he did in the first place. But that's it. So I can see why they cut him from the final, well, the theatrical release. It's just weird how pointless it was in the first place. That, that was, like, the most bizarre thing out of any of this. Yeah, it was... I kind of expected to find some Lemoyne Raiders over here, but nothing. That, that, is, that has to be... Compared to, say, uh... The North with the snow and everything. Or e even out towards, uh... Valentine, out in the wilds, just doing some hunting and such. There really is nothing down here. I think I'm actually going to start pushing westward a bit more. Here's a du Oh, yeah, it's these guys. They, uh... They fence, uh... Horses. I forgot about them. So, yeah. Uh, I think his name's Thrain? It's either Thrain or something like that. But yeah, his dad is completely pointless to the story. I was amazed that they put the effort to have him in it. Horse is stuck. Horse is stuck. That they had the effort to put him in it and just totally just get rid of him right out. No give. No shits given at all. And they made they made it they made it comical by putting him with a by killing him off with a Wilhelm scream. His entire purpose in the trilogy is a Wilhelm scream. Which I think was used actually prior in the movie at some point as well, because Peter Jackson loves to put Wilhelm screams in his movies for some reason. I get it. It's funny. It's a historical reference for movies and such, but uh, he puts like two or three of them in every movie. I'm just kind of enjoying the nature at this point. It just kind of looks really nice like this with the sun rays. There's a house down here. Oh, it's I, I, that's the thing is that I, I don't remember things until I like get a really nice look at it. Yeah, this house says. Uh, some sort of fishing dude at it, where he gives you like a side quest of like challenging to give it, get him the biggest fish you can catch. It's pretty bright out here, though. Another thing I was kind of surprised at recently was uh, the Amazon Prime 
uh, day thing, the sale. Not, I don't know what happened to Amazon sale stuff, but uh, I remember like three years ago, I got my PC monitor from it that I'm using right now and such from that for like a hundred bucks and it's like a $200 monitor. Uh, I used to get like a decent amount of games and stuff from it, got equipment. Uh, nothing. Th this year, all I literally got from it was uh, BBC's Blue Planet 2, which is like a $45 Blu-ray for like nine bucks, which, which was probably the best deal I've had on a movie in a while. Well, it's a TV series, but same thing. And uh, I got the Harry Potter 8 movie Blu-ray collection for like 20 bucks instead of like 50. <laughs> But that, that's it. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty disappointing to me. Everything that they were doing was just uh, like dresses, uh, keto books, just weird things like razors and like cereal. It just was weird. Uh, there not there was. I, I remember last year being kind of similar, but this year was just like noticeably. What what are they doing? The only video game deal I saw was uh, Let's Go Eevee for the Switch, and I'm not even going to buy that for 30 bucks. I'm not interested in that at all. Oh, and I completely... Uh, that was a loud crow. I completely forgot. Today... For me is a big deal because it has been six months from today that I started streaming. It's been half a year already. I haven't streamed as much as I've wanted to, but uh, I'm kind of going for quality over quantity at this point. What is this guy? Ah, it's a fisherman. How's it going, man? Hey, mister. Hey, buddy. Hey, boy. Who's a good dog? Who's a good doggy? You're a good doggy. Yes, you are. You got a good dog, man. Uh, excuse me. Hey there. Ain't it beautiful today? Can't beat warm sun. Let's hope our luck holds. Bye. See you later, dog. Oh, that's a nice scene, the train going over on a nice sunny, uh, I think this is morning. Maybe sunset. There's some deer up ahead. I might try to hunt them. But yeah, it's been uh, <clears throat> it's been uh, six months since I started streaming with Breath of the Wild. I don't want to go for that one. I want to go for this one. So I could get both of them.
Ah, perfect. Yay. You got this, girl. I've been having to leave my doors open in my house uh, for the air conditioners because of how hot it's been getting. And because of that, my cats have been getting into my collection room with my shelves of games and such. And I have a, a plush tingle and a uh, plush bomb bomb on some of the lower shelves. And they've been, I've had to put them up pretty high because they keep going to town after them. And uh, they ripped the belt off of Tingle, which annoyed the crap out of me, but I, I fixed it and I uh, made sure it was correctly put back on. They ruined the uh, stitching for it, but uh, it still uh, it still works for them. I finally hung up. I know I don't think I've ever said it on stream, but. Uh, from when I went to Disney World a few years ago. But I intended to hang up uh, a few art prints I got there, some uh, art drawn by some of the in-house Disney artists that worked there at the time. And I got two, I got three prints. I got one of Arthur from Sword in the Stone. And I looked up the artist. The guy who did that worked for, actually the only information I could find about them because there's not a whole lot for that guy I don't know where the hell I am, but this is scary as fuck right now. This is a really dark wood forest. Look at this. I really expect a Leshen to pop out behind one of these trees at any point right now. This is some Witcher 3 stuff. Eh, getting back on point. Uh, one of the prints was of Arthur from Sword in the Stone. And it looks really good. The artist for that, to my knowledge from research years ago, he works for like Ubisoft and such apparently. Uh, and he does occasional art pieces for Disney. The artist... Oh, I saw something. I was like, what is that? It's a dude. Evening, mister. Hey, partner! I got a print of... Uh, the Horned King from Black Cauldron as well. That one was the most obscure to find any information of. I'm looking at it right now. Actually, it's behind my uh, chair and PC and such. Uh, God, who did that? I used to have that written down in a file, but I think I got rid of that years ago. I think it was some independent artist who gets hired by Disney sometimes, but I forget. And then I got one of, uh... I'm actually forgetting the name of the character now. Oh man, that sucks. I'm looking at him right now, and I can't think of his name. Uh, the little MacGuffin character from Black Cauldron who loves the apple. He's holding the apple in the picture. He's like a Gollum-esque character, but he's like a Furby. Sir. He's, he's like a teddy bear mixed with a Furby mixed with uh, a MacGuffin, I guess. He's got a very raspy voice. I can't do it. Very high-pitched. And very uh, windy voice. There's a train. Let's take a look at it. Oh shit, don't jump in front of the train. Horse, stop. I'm not, I'm, I'm just directing you, I'm not. Okay. That could have been bad. Uh. It's something simple to, oh man. Uh, I'm gonna look that up right now, actually. One sec, I'm... Gurgi! I didn't even have to look it up. It, it just, I looked at the G at Google and I was like, Gurgi! It's uh, a picture of Gurgi. <laughs> that took long enough to remember. Uh, the artist for that, I know is apparently very prominent in the in their uh, little guild or whatever they would call it of uh, people who do that art. 
What is that? That is creepy. That is... It's another cult! Oh, shit, boys. We're gonna kill some more KKK. Oh, that... I actually have goosebumps right now. I did not... That's scary. Oh, they're in the middle of nowhere. Look at these guys. I know what I'm doing. You guys hear from your southern district about what happened maybe two weeks ago? Yep, they are the same bastards. Where am I? I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm just, I'm just south of Wallace Station. Holy crap. Yeah. To the fools in Congress uh, and their ludicrous idea. And me. But today, we grow one yeah. more. Yeah. 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 As we anoint a new brother. Yeah. Oh. Into oh. our oh. sacred cause. Yeah. Yeah. Please, yeah. step yeah. forward and kneel. All right. yeah. hey. Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah, oh, here we go. Yeah! Yeah. All right. Come on. Yeah. Let him go. The eternal right. light. Right Bottoms up. That was like a monster scream. No, no. Yeah, give me that. One of them's still alive. Where is he? Come out, you son of a bitch. Get some! I wish the all of you would burn. The only difference is when I did it in the south, this caught fire. Somehow. There we go. Now it's the same as last time. Oh, shit. I did not expect to find these guys again. I thought that was a one-time thing. I like how I was going on talking about Disney and uh, Gurgi and Black Cauldron. And this happens. That dynamite is damn effective, though. Don't worry yourself, any nun, little horsies. I'm only going to take your owner's positions, and then I'm going to take what you got as well. They're gonna buck and kick at me. So. That sucked. Yeah, this got dark. But, I'm getting a lot of free stuff. Ooh, this dude's body's roasted. I can't even uh, take anything from it. Well, time to check the horses, I guess. Can I 
not check this one? Nope, looks like I can't because the tree's in the way. This one I should be able to, though. Eh, some money. Ah, oh, Miracle Tonic. What was that? I think it's one of the horse bodies adjusting to some of the tree geometry. <laughs> I think it kind of freaked out. Uh, I think I'm done here, actually. Where'd my horse go? There you are. Come on, girl. Let's get out of here. This place is nutty. And although it has no correlation to me at all, because I'm just a viewer, but I, I'm actually very excited for the uh, Vine Sauce charity. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be cool. Although I'm probably gonna miss quite a bit of it due to uh, work, so I have to rewatch it and catch up. Got myself that uh, charity magazine ordered, and looking forward to that. Careful what you see up there, man. There's a bunch of dead bodies. Yeah, going back to that uh, YouTube... Ah, motherfucker! That guy just wanted to tell on me. Get out of here. Going back to uh, that YouTube thing, I, I'm, I'm really, really wanting to replay The Witcher 3. Either Witcher 3 or Skyrim, which is something I tend to play, like, once a year. You a traveler? But we ain't from around here, neither. We're from La- The range out here is real inhospitable. You see? You guys made the wrong decision. Me. We're paid to make it that way. Bunch of ass wipes. Also wrapping up on uh, reading Toriko. Still a great series. I, I'm actually that, the one thing I have as a problem with Toriko is that, and I, I think it's because Shimabukuro was rushed to write the ending because I think his either his contract was running out or his deal was running out or something. Because I, I know for a fact from the last issue he says that he had to rush things in his editor's note. Uh, the I'd say from issue third, once the gourmet stuff, the gourmet arc begins, well, the gourmet world arc begins, around issue 30 or 31, 
maybe at the latest 32. Everything just starts feeling a bit forced. And I, I'm fine with that. It just the tone shifts in the whole series. For the first half of the series prior to that, everything's like, wow, magical. Uh, food world and endless and bountiful adventures. And then once you hit about, it, once a, the gourmet world arc starts, uh, it starts feeling very forced. Uh, not very predictable, but very like... There's, there's still the feeling of wonderment and weird stuff that Bokuro and uh, whatever his guest suggestions are for creatures and such were. That's still impressive. Uh, it just feels like the adventure is very linear at that point, which I guess it had to be. And the, it just made the uh, tone shift in the series. I don't know why. It just, it just for, for readability's sake, it just makes it a bit of a slog to read compared to freeform adventures and stuff doing whatever you want. It made everything very brisk, very fun, and very uh, unfocused, which made it a bit more enjoyable and adventure-like. Kind of like this, I guess. Uh, but once he starts delving into more of a story, a very specific story of places they have to go, things they need to get, characters that have to be met, and plot points to wrap up. Who is this guy? Uh, it just feels kind of forced and a bit of a slog to read, in my opinion. I've, I've been reading this part. I'm up to, like, 34? And I've been stuck reading these. Like, I used to read one a night. And now I'm up to maybe one every three days. It's just... And I don't think it's me getting tired of the series, because this happened last time as well when I first read through the series. It just felt like a slog to read. I don't know. Probably just me. It's just what. It's just a weird thing I have with the series, is that it's really fun to start reading into, and then by the end of it, it does kind of wrap up very nice, but it's. It, I think it's good by the end of it. Not that I wouldn't enjoy more. I like Shimabukuro's writing as much as people have with uh, him as a him as a person. His uh, actual art is very well done. What the hell is this place? What town is this? Horse is acting weird again. Horse is acting weird. Stop. I'm not doing anything. Okay, I'm letting go of the controller. Okay. Picked it up again. Provision Brewster's Provisions. This looks like the saloon. Yeah. Uh, can I read that? If the haze would kind of go away, I would. Mal... It's either Molskers or Moldskers, because there's a K in there. Uh, saloon. the hell is that? Is that a jail? There's a sheriff. Yeah, this must have been the jail. This is like one of the only building... Oh, oh, that's, that kind of creeped me out a bit. I was just like, oh. Huh. You alive? Huh. I turn around and they get up and try to eat me. They're zombies. Looks like this place had a party and I wasn't invited. Good girl. Let's go. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Toriko. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm trying to finish up reading this, and then I'll probably move on to uh, 
mare again, like I did last year as well. That one is short, sweet, and very, very well done. Whoa, it's not just the town. This whole forest back here has been burned. I want to check that out. I don't remember this area being torched like this. Wait, what was that? Okay, it was a red flower. I was like, why is there blood on the trail? Yeah, I'm going to check this out. My cat is now meowing outside my door because she wants attention and she wants to come in. You're not getting in here. You're not getting in here, Ripley. No. You might be able to hear the meowing coming through the mic. I'm not sure how receptive this is. I just redid my audio as well uh, today. Because I, well, I didn't redo it. I checked it and recalibrated uh, it to have a bit more of some, uh, I don't actually really know what to call it, more tenor. Kind of a, a little bit more sound to it is the best way I'll put it. It's just my mixer. No, 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 get off the mountain. I'll go up this side, but, uh, and one thing I'll state again, that I think I've stated now maybe three times. I'm not sure if I stated it the second time in the stream. That doesn't count anymore. Uh, I don't intend these streams or videos to be, like, serious. In any, in any respective, like, normal way of what you would expect a play, playing a game to be like. This is more just a relaxed, kind of chill thing. I guess. Hey, little fella. Doggy. I like how that uh, mountain path actually led me up out of that gorge. That's good. Bird. Savagery. Is this a turkey? Yes, it is. I just, I actually did just uh, remember another thing regarding work that uh, happened, I want to say maybe January, February as well. Occasionally, there's, uh, there's a few religious uh, zealots in our area for some reason. And what I mean by that is, I mean, like, I mean like die hard, they want to convert you kind of people. Uh, I remember this old older lady, maybe in her mid 50s. Uh, she was, she, I've seen her a few times in the store, but what the fuck happened here? Oh, it's this thing with uh, the murderer guy. I didn't realize there was blood over here. Yeah, I've already seen this. Look on my works. Hmm. I've only found two of those. I found one towards Valentine and one over here. Well, not not towards... Yeah, th this one towards Valentine and one towards uh, Strawberry. Uh, she was in one of the little Amigo... Uh, Auto carts, one of the elect one of those little riding electronic carts that need a battery to move. Forget what. Whatever. Uh, I sold her a cell phone, I think, and immediately. And th this this happens. The weird stuff happens more often than I wish. But uh, she grabs my arm and pulls me forward towards her. I literally at this point think she's gonna shank me or something. I think she's gonna stab me. Uh, 
she pulls me right up to her, like kind of sidelined against her head, just like, I'm an Avenger for the, and I quote this, I'm an Avenger for the Lord himself. Is there anything you would wish to say to him? That guy's got it crazy. <laughs> uh, I, at this point, I'm a little scared. I'm just like, I, I, I'm just like, no, no, miss, no, please, no, I, I'm good. And, and then she goes on and says, uh, you see, Helen, Acri here is a no, 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 don't pull me into a side mission. Get me out of here. That a man shaves a face into every day. Come on. Yes, gain traction. It won't let me run. Get me out of here. Okay. I'm telling a story. I don't need to get sidelined into a side mission. So, so I, I say, no, no, please, miss. No, uh, just leave me alone. Uh, and she she lets go of me. And then she, she kind of chills. Because she, she was, like, deadly serious about this. And... She chills out, she leans back in, and she's like, Well, I'm gonna sing your blessings to the Lord himself anyway today, my man. Well, not my man, but my sir. And I'm just like, okay, good, all right, fine. Do you need, do you need anything else, miss? And she's like, no, I'm, I'm good. You are, you are a blessed soul, and I shall sing your praises for the Lord. And I... Just the whole circumstance. And then she rides off in her little electric cart. The whole thing, because I think I talked to her like once before and I knew she was, like I, I myself am not very religious at all. I'm pretty agnostic. I, I generally just use facts and logic to deduce things. I don't, I don't dislike the concept of religion or anything like that. I'm not against it. I think it's great for people. It's, it's just when you get circumstances like that, you just like, oh boy, uh, this, this person's getting a little crazy. Uh, Please let go of me. <laughs> this whole stream has basically been me riding through Red Dead 2, just talking, which I think is fine. Okay, I thought I was going to go off the cliff there. I still might. My thing is I'm trying to find interesting things to do, and that's not really happening at this point. That's the other thing with uh, why I'll probably only a few more streams of this, maybe three or something like that, is that th I'm kind of running out of uh, things to do in the game, because this is all post-game, and there's, aside from just kind of doing this, there's not a whole lot. Just kind of explore. The world's big enough where you can do that endlessly, but uh, I also like to have some sort of interesting thing going on at the same time. Keeps uh, my interest going a bit. So yeah, I deal with some weird people on a daily basis. That, that, that's a part of the reason why I don't stream as often due to work as well. It's just I get tired. <laughs> I get tired and I want to relax. I might actually have to call it pretty soon here as well. Because uh, I do, as as dumb as it is for me, uh, th this is one of the earliest streams I think I've ever done, but I do have to go to work as well pretty soon. I think that's when I'm going to finish up, yeah. Uh, whoa, I didn't, I didn't realize where I was. I'm actually pretty far north. For some reason, I thought I was like over here. Uh, where's Strawberry? Ah, oh, damn, that's pretty far away. I think I'm gonna go to Riggs Station. And... end it there. Hopefully I can get, at this point, it wouldn't be noticeable on YouTube or anything, but hopefully I can get the YouTube channel back up and running again. I'm kinda just waiting on, uh my new graphics and such. And I'm gonna redo like all the thumbnails and uh, stuff like that regarding all my previous videos as well, but I also wanna upload with a fresh slate of uh, pres PRESENTATION!
And I might do a Mario Maker 2 stream at some point. I've made about five levels in the game. And a few of them have been played. What in hell? What in hell? What's your problem, man? I made a few levels. I I think I uh, did a bit too much with some of them. I tried make, making them easy, but at the same time, I, I, I like to kind of mess about and put a ton of fake outs in them. So they're apparently they're not very easy. Only they've been played by quite a few people, but uh, nobody's oh, only a few of them have been beaten. I'm surprised one of them uh, I named Jumpin' Jeepers. I'm surprised somebody got a really quick time on it. I don't know how they did that. They got like a minute. And for me just to finish it, I think it took me like a minute 30 to clear it for upload. And I, was, I had to be pretty precise on that one due to a bunch of uh, spikes and thwomps. <clears throat> Howdy, fellas. Yeah, there hasn't been a whole lot, in retrospect, I'm now just thinking back through this whole stream. Uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of anything going on except me talking. Whoa, 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 what's going after me? Okay, that was odd. It's literally been just me riding my horse around the map. I don't know. The next stream around... It, I'm going to Strawberry. Next stream will be another hunting thing, I guess. Just wanted to catch up uh, what's been going on and just kind of talk and have a bit of a chill time before work. <laughs> or have to deal with uh, strange people again. What's up with the horse? You tired? Be strong for me, girl. Oh, it's freaked out. Oh, miss. For you, miss. Yeah, after I'm done with Hobbit, because I've already, this year, I'm, this year I'm trying to catch up on just various series of movies and such. Nice elk over there. And there it goes into the water. Not going to chase it. Uh, I rewatched Lord of the Rings. I rewatched the Indiana Jones movies, except for Crystal Skull, which I still deny watching, because I've never seen it, and I still don't want to. Uh, I'm almost done with Hobbit. That is a very odd tree. Look at that. Well, I guess where I'm going next is up there. What is that thing? Oh, I was wondering what that was floating. It's a vulture or an eagle or something. It's an eagle. Not my America. Eh. Can I even get up here? Maybe.
I'm gonna try and spam climb. Nope, that doesn't work. Let me, oh, I was so close there. Let me up, let me in, let me in! Fine. Ah, oh, force, he almost jumped on me. And John's gonna slowly walk over. All right, enough messing around. I'm just gonna head to Strawberry, prep it for next time. And this time, I, I, I'm not gonna me uh, mess up the mic. <laughs> to head up here. Horse. This horse is super fast. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I went off the path. Who's this guy? Up, horse fell. I fell. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you're good. Yay, cheese jump up here. How's it going, 49er? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well... Hey, why the hurry, partner? I got a hot tail. Don't you follow me now. I want whatever you got. Dodge jump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back here. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Well, I lost him. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm at the train station. Well, that's about that, then. I hear the train coming. There it is. Uh, I guess next time I'll just do some hunting out here towards Strawberry.
Now that I've covers that I kind of caught up everything I did last time and chilled out, had some fun talking. So, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. Have a good day. Because it's not night this time. Have a good day.